What's going on, Pisces? It's your girl, Miss Smooth, coming at you again with another general collective reading for the next 30 days from March 15th to April 15th. I hope everyone is in good spirits. If this is your first time joining, welcome and thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Smooth's Motivational Tarot. It is your girl, Miss Smooth. Thank you so much Join for uh, taking the time to sit and watch and see what this message is about. Um, please don't hesitate to leave a comment if this resonates with you. Please leave a like and a share as well if possible. It does help the channel and it does help me get up on your energy. Okay, so thank you so much. I appreciate that. Ancestors of my highest good and light as well as the collectives who are watching at this moment. Thank you so much for Pisces, the collective. Uh, thank you for the divine protection from their crown chakra to the soles of their feet, as well as um, protecting them from any energy that is unnecessary. Okay? I don't know why this ain't lighting right. My Palo Santo, come on, light. <laughs> Pisces, what's going on? Happy birthday, boo boo. Handsome, sexy, honey bun, sweetheart. I hope everyone is doing well. I love how that lit up. So, you need some motivation right now. I'm feeling that. Okay, let's see what's going on, Pisces. All right. My birthday is in a week on the 15th, so thank you for all of you that are leaving me some birthday wishes, okay? All the information is in the community chat if you would like to see my cash app. I'm also doing... Um, some dispatching courses for anyone who's interested in starting their own trucking dispatch business or getting involved in the trucking uh, world. You don't have to know anything for that to happen, okay? All that information, again, is in the community forum, okay? Oh, no, don't do that to my candle. All right, so let's get with it and see what your messages is about, Okay. I hope everyone is in good spirits, lifting your vibration. I just want you to know that I love you, Pisces, and I thank you so much for the support. I thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload new messages. I've had a busy week as well, but you know what? I'm back in effect, so let's see what's going on, all right? Let's go ahead and cut the deck. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, spirit. I appreciate it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I said somebody definitely feels some disappointment. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you, and you need some motivation, okay? So let's see what spirit wants to say with this Eight of, eight of Cups. Spirit, can we clarify... For the collective Pisces, that came out quick. Oh, see? See how my spirit loves you? Spirit said that was a good thing that you walked away from that bullshit, okay? I love it, Pisces. Right. You ain't got time to be sweating nobody because you a Pisces, okay? So the sun is here. You might have Leo in your chart or you could be meeting a Leo. I don't know. But let's talk about it. Spirit, what is the focus on this sun? This is a big yes. Confidence. Okay. Unconditional. Love. Okay. Spirit loves you, Pisces. Dang, Spirit. <clears throat> I can't pick up the card. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So we have the Page of Swords. Okay. Um, I feel like with the Page of Swords, you definitely are in this position of starting this new journey, seeing things with fresh eyes. When I see the Page of Swords, I always say seeing things with fresh eyes, learning something new about yourself or someone else. Okay? All right. Spirit, what is unexpected or hidden in the next 30 days from Pisces? That wanted to flop out and almost... Almost, almost jerked it back into the deck. Ace of Cups. That's what I said. This is unexpected. So those Eight of Cups that you walked away from is leading you in a direction to meet that fulfilling cup. 
okay? Whether it be work, play, people, things, or places, okay? But Spirit is saying you have some huge wish, some huge emotional fulfillment with the Ace of Cups, okay? And this will also be a new baby, a new relationship, a new proposal, a new marriage, a new partnership, okay? But let's see. Spirit, can we... Dang, that was quick. Look, that flipped right out. You got the lovers. You got somebody interested in you. They're being guided to you, okay? You got the lovers, okay? Spirit, want to talk about this. All right, let's see what your potential outcome is. This is so cute, Pisces. All right, you got new partnerships. You got several people interested in you, I'm feeling. And you have the fucking emperor. You got somebody that is really, 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 really boss energy. Okay, they really, really interested in you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the empress. Yo, I have to pull it. Sarah said pull it, okay? You have the Empress and you have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like your intuition told you this, right? Because you, you're learning how to work it. Um, but I feel like you 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 kind of sense this. And Spirit is saying, I have a new opportunity on the table for you. Oh, this is so nice. Let's break it down. I love it, Pisces. That's why you can't get stressed over people that don't no longer serve you. It's just part of life. And I know how that feels because Pisces love hard. They love strong. And when the separation happened, it's like devastating, you know? But we also know that when something is no longer for you, it's no longer for you. And we accept the fate. But you might still miss that person, you know? And that's okay to do that. You, No one's hurt, getting mad at you for missing someone, even if you know they're no good for you. It doesn't mean that you want them back. It's just that, you know, that's the comfortable familiarity that you have with that person. You developed a strong connection, a bond. And now you're walking away from that. And now something new is on your path because you walked away yeah because you walked away okay so let's clarify thank you spirit let me move this down just a little bit just a little bit <laughs> all right spirit so let me go ahead and shuffle really quick i did do a pre-shuffle but i'll shuffle again i just got these two decks and i love them thank you spirit i appreciate it all right let's go ahead and cut the deck one, two, three. Yeah, Pisces. This person could have strong Leo um, in their chart, but um, you could have Leo in your chart. And I feel like the sun is going to illuminate. It's not illuminate. The sun is going to reveal something wonderful coming your way that's hidden, which is this Ace of Cup, which for, you know, um, ultimate fulfillment. Um, from spirit and it has to do with your love life your partnerships okay and spirit is saying you're meeting your soulmate you're meeting your soulmate because you walked away one second Congratulations. For those of you that want it, congratulations, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's go. And you have the Ace of Swords. That's also from Spirit. You have two Aces, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. This is this is um, honest conversation. This is honest conversation. This is clarity. This is respect. This is, you know, vibing with the same energy, communication. Thank you, Spirit. 
All right, sir, can we clarify the sun? I don't know why we need to clarify the sun, but can we clarify the sun and this new energy with this new person that Pisces, the collective, is running into or being guided to? Please and thank you. Can we clarify the sun? Please and thank you, spirit. Thank you. Oh, the three of cups celebration. Okay, so you're definitely going to have some gatherings. Um, it could be a reunion of some sort. Maybe you known this person, but y'all never actually hit it off. Or they could be a familiarity about them. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's clarify the three of cups spirit. What about the three of cups? What about the three of cups with the sun? Please and thank you for the collective Pisces. Six of Swords, this is necessary meeting, okay? Um, this is someone that is, um, you're definitely going in a new direction um, towards this person. Hmm, you might be relocating. Peace after the storm is what I'm seeing. Yeah, okay? Yeah, with the sun and the celebration, you're celebrating the peace after the storm with your close your, your close knit of friends. Okay, anything else for the current energy? Thank you. Five of Swords. Yep. Avoiding this conflict, winning at all costs. Um, I feel like you know this is this is change. Okay, this is change with the Five of Swords. Let me clarify the Five of Swords. All right, one more. Spirit, what about the Five of Swords? Because you got the sun here. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. What about the Five of Swords? All right, you cut off some people that no longer serve you. Thank you, Spirit. With the Five of Swords. Hey. Oh. Sorry about that. All right, so you have the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Um I feel like with the Seven of Cups, this is definitely, you know, um realizing that you have choices that you will never be anyone's choice i feel like this is why this five of swords is here is that people try to make you an option and you are nobody's fucking option okay thank you and you realize that with the page of swords and that's why you walked away when we saw the eight of cups earlier okay let's talk about this page of swords as you realize your worth as you realize you deserve better. Exactly. Here go the Empress again. This is you. <laughs> Masculine and feminine doesn't matter. All right. You realize your worth. Like I said, okay. You know that you are the divine feminine or divine masculine, but because they're both here, but you definitely are embodying this when you walked away from shit that no longer serve you. Can we clarify the Empress? Thank you. The magician. Yeah. Okay, you definitely manifested your way out of that bullshit. Okay, and realize that you are the creator, you have the magic within. Oh, Pisces, I feel you, boo boo. I feel you, handsome. You know, it's hard, but at the same time, it's worth it. Okay, and so as you manifest and you walk the way, because you walk the way, you gain your self-worth. And Spirit is saying, now I'm handing you out of those eight cups that you walked the way. They tried to make you an option with their seven. I'm going to give you the ultimate fulfillment, okay? The abundance flow of your own cup, whatever you want, okay? And let's talk about the ace of cups. This is, this is hidden. This is unexpected. Spirit is saying judgment, exactly. This is spirit giving you an awakening, okay? Spirit is saying change of status. I'm elevating you to a higher level, okay? You're calling in your soulmate. Spirit, can we clarify judgment with the Ace of Cups? Can we clarify judgment with the Ace of Cups, okay? Spirit is saying I'll resolve all your problems, okay? I'll change your status quo, 
because you chose to walk away from things that no longer serve you. And Spirit is saying, here you are with the Three of Pentacles. You're going to be building with new partners, new partnerships with new people, getting the support that you want, okay? Having the right kind of team working with you, okay? Let's talk about it. Yeah. Anything else for the Three of Pentacles? Wow, you just knocked Pisces down. Sorry about that. <laughs> King of Pentacles, I can't make this shit up, okay? So you do have somebody coming into your energy that is an investor, longevity, an uh, emperor, under, undercover, okay? This person is definitely successful and grounded. You are as well, okay? They're matching your vibe. They're matching your energy flow, okay? And I feel like that's who you're going to be collabing with, with the Three of Pentacles, Okay, the King of Pentacles, which makes sense. And here goes the lovers. Okay, partnerships. Let's talk about it. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Cups. Yep, somebody's going to be offering new partnerships, new love. They're smitten by you. They like you. They love your energy. You match their fly. Yes, let's talk about it. Let's talk about these Page of Cups with the lovers. Wow. <laughs> The Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment, okay? Yes, all right? Nine of Cups is all about wish fulfillment, okay? Being comfortable in a happy relationship, grounded, stable, successful. Spirit is saying this is coming towards you, okay? I love it. All right, Pisces. Here we have a divine soulmate pair, the Empress and the Emperor, okay? You balanced out your energy and made strategic moves by walking away, but you're also standing in that creativity, fruitful, abundant uh, energy, and you're matching your soulmate, okay? Because you walked away, this is why this is happening. So if you've already met this person, now you know why. Spirit, can we clarify the emperor and the empress, this divine counterpart? Can we clarify, especially with the Ace of Swords out here? Can we clarify, please, and thank you? What about the potential outcome when it comes to, yes, you have the Seven of Pentacles. This is somebody that is willing to grow with you, okay? Um, this is long overdue, I'm hearing. Hard work pays off. When you work on yourself emotionally and spiritually, you get the results. You get the abundance, okay? And with the Nine of Cups being here, this is why this is happening. But this person definitely wants to be in a position with you to work together with you and allow things to grow. Can we clarify the Seven of Pentacles? Can we clarify the Seven of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Look. Okay, this person definitely wants to take care of you. They want to provide the right stability, doing the right investments. You guys are a power couple. Nice. Ace of Pentacles, okay? Maybe a new investor is going to be watching you if you own your own business, okay? But it's more than just work. This person is smitten by you. They is divine counterpart. I got two. You got the five of pentacles, okay? And you have the five of wands. So five and five is ten. When I see changes, changes in your finances and changes in your relationships as you establish this new relationship with these people. Let's clarify the five of pentacles and the five of wands. Let's clarify the five of pentacles and the five of wands, please. <clears throat> they're coming to remove the lack and the conflict thank you spirit thank you two of cups I, that's what i say i can't make this shit up okay this person is looking at you more than just you know the average joe they're looking at you as a great investment a divine power couple counterpart you know moving mountains building empires okay Yes, I love it. 
All right? And at the bottom, look, King of Cups. Can't make this shit up. You got the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. All right? This person is, is really smitten by you, emotionally balanced, ready to handle all of your lack, all of what you lack. They are coming in to fulfill, to help you grow. Okay? I love it. And here go the Queen. Oh, sorry, y'all. It didn't fall, though. That's a good thing. They just slip. They so buttery. I told y'all I got butterfingers. <laughs> All right. So you have the pink, queen of pentacles and the king of cups energy. Okay. And then you have the eight of pentacles. I told you they want to work with you and they could be a boss. You could be a boss. All right. And then you have the nine of wands. Okay. This person knows that you've been through some setbacks. All right. Definitely. Don't be trying to light my Pisces on fire, Candle. All right, so spirit is definitely letting you know that this person's coming to heal. They go to Wheel of Fortune. I can't make this shit up, okay? And then you have the Six of Cups. This person is going to want friendship. It's going to start off like, you know, you guys are soulmates. You're past lovers from another lifetime coming to finish a job. And with the Ace of Pentacles and the Temperance, as well as the King of Cups again, and the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, I can't make this shit up, okay? Coming to heal the burden that you've been carrying by yourself. And here goes the Chariot, I can't make it up. And then you got the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, okay? Yeah. Let's pull some angel oracle cards to see about this love, this partnership, this new beginning for Pisces, the collective. Thank you, Spirit. If this resonated with you guys, please don't hesitate to leave a like and a comment. It does help the channel. If you want to be part of the Moo Tribe family and you want more messages, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always up to date on the messages that I post. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify this new soulmate uh, partnership that is divinely being guided together? Can we clarify what are the angels saying about this partnership? Please and thank you for the collective Pisces. What are the angels wanting to say? Please and thank you. For Pisces. New York City don't know how to be quiet for nothing. <laughs> what is the... Oh, thank you, Spirit. So, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. All right. Um, when I see codependency, I feel like this is the past people that you had to deal with. You see how she's looking at people with fresh eyes with the uh, page of swords looking like, all right, so, you know, this this is not working for me. Right. And so then you realize that, you know, um, children, your love life is being affected by children. Hmm. I feel like some of you who have children with someone, those are the people you walked away from and they want to be codependent on you because y'all have children. So there's still like a strong ties there. Let's pull another one. Thank you, Spirit. That's only for a small select few. Spirit, what about those who don't have children or not connected? What does the angels want to say to them about this new uh, soulmate? Somebody could have children, okay? And you're connecting with this person, all right? Thank you, Spirit. Free yourself, exactly. And that's exactly what you did. It's time to take back control of your life when you walked away. I feel like because it's on this side, that's definitely the energy from your past. Let's look at three more cards. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? For the future, for this new cycle, this new love, please and thank you. You got two. All right, so we have, it's, it is safe for you to love. See, you're so used to being hurt. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And look, true love. See, difference. You see the difference? I'm going to pull one more for this, this new 
soulmate blue that you got coming in. This emperor, empress energy that you got coming in, male or female, doesn't matter. Thank you, spirit. One more for true love. Please and thank you. For Pisces. Yes, make the effort. Don't dismiss this person because they're here to help you grow. All right, they are your wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. And the Chariot is saying, I'm bringing this in quick, fast, okay? Yeah, I'm bringing this in quick, fast. Don't you fall. <laughs> I'm bringing this in quick, fast with the Chariot and the Nine of Cups, okay? Yeah. So Spirit is saying, make the effort with this true love. Great love is worth taking the steps you've got it to do. I know you took in chances before and it left you in that five of swords energy. But this person is not here to do that to you, okay? This person is definitely here to help you grow. At the bottom of the deck, we have healing, family issues. Exactly. This person is here to help you heal and grow. Like I just said, I just said that. <laughs> your love life benefits as you forgive and your parents, okay? So maybe, you know, you went through all of that to stop the cycle of what's been going on in your um, family's bloodline, all right? So you don't continue to keep creating the same cycles, Okay, and thank you so much for tuning in, Pisces. I love you guys. I wish you nothing but happy birthdays and wishes are coming true. I love you, and for that, I'm gonna blow out the candle. <sighs> there you go. I'm sorry, ashes everywhere. Ashes, beauty to ashes, I'm hearing. Okay, beauty to ashes. All right, love you guys. Bye.